Simple KVM is an open source project designed to help you easily install and run macOS on Linux computers using virtualization technology, KVM, kernel based virtual machine. It provides a convenient and powerful solution to experience macOS on non Apple hardware without the need for direct installation. With standout features like simple installation, high performance, and support for multiple macOS versions, it is a great tool. However, its limitation of only supporting installation on Linux can make it less accessible. Today, I will guide you on how to set it up on Windows. First, you need to enable virtualization support in the BIOS and Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, in Windows features. Next, run command prompt with administrator privileges and use the following command to install the latest version of Linux on Windows. The system will automatically install the latest version of Ubuntu on your machine. Alternatively, you can manually install a specific version of Ubuntu or another Linux distribution through the Microsoft Store. Press Y to proceed with the installation. After the installation is complete, you will be prompted to set up a username and password for the Linux environment. To check for additional updates for your Linux system, enter the following command, sudo apt update. If the system does not automatically update all patches, you can add Y to the command to bypass confirmation prompts. This ensures the updates are installed without requiring manual input. The commands for this setup are provided in the description of the video for reference. Next, enter the following command to install the necessary additional software. To verify the status of KVM and ensure it is set up correctly, Run the following command to check if KVM is properly installed and active. If you see a message like KVM acceleration can be used, it means KVM is installed and working. If the message indicates KVM is not usable, install the CPU checker utility with this command. Once KVM is confirmed to be working, Clone the macOS simple.kvm repository to your system using the following command. Navigate to the project folder after cloning. These steps will prepare your system for setting up macOS on KVM. The jumpstart.sh script by default downloads the macOS Mojave recovery image. You can customize it to download other versions, such as Big Sur or Catalina, by specifying the version as an argument. If you receive a notification that Python 3 is not installed, you can check the installed version of Python on your system using the following command. To install Python 3, run the following command.
After ensuring Python 3 is installed, rerun the jumpstart.sh script to restart the process of downloading the macOS Mojave recovery image. If a permission denied error occurs related to slash dev slash KVM, you can fix it by temporarily changing its permissions. Use the following command. Now you can successfully rerun the jumpstart.sh script to enter macOS recovery. The system will automatically proceed into the macOS installation environment. The installation process is straightforward and similar to other macOS versions. Once in macOS recovery, follow the on-screen instructions to install macOS. If you encounter any issues or have questions, check the comments for help or leave your own for assistance. Congratulations on completing this setup. If you encounter difficulties, feel free to revisit the steps or ask for help. See you in the next video or tutorial, good luck!